But what makes this electronically wireless controlled switch so clever is the fact that it's self-powered. That's right, batteries are no longer needed. So how can you add the self-powered wireless switch into your smart home? That's a great question, and today I'm going to show you. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hello and welcome to my channel, and I hope you like today's video. If you like smart home and automotive technology content, then hit that subscribe button because most of the time, that is what you're going to see on this channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this self-powered wireless remote control switch. If you haven't seen one of these devices before and know nothing about it at all, then put your feet up and get comfortable, as I'm going to show you just how useful a device like this can be in your home, and you don't need a smart home to use it. What? You don't need a smart home setup at all to be able to use this device? Nope. You could be living in an empty house, and providing you have power, you can still use the switch inside your house. Although it would be a lot more fun if you had a few appliances to control. Some of you might be a bit confused now, and that's totally understandable. But just before I show you what you can do with this remote controlled switch, let's have a closer look at the device first. Okay, so there's two parts to this device. This part, which is the big on-off switch. And then there's this part, which is the receiver and main controller. So the on-off switch must be battery powered, right? Nope, there's no battery at all inside this device. This switch is self-powered. Okay, hands up if you're really confused right now. Isn't that impossible? I mean, how does that work? Okay, let me explain. So the receiver itself is powered off mains voltage. The on-off switch, however, has been very cleverly designed. It doesn't need a battery because the way it works is when you, the operator, touches and presses the switch, it uses the energy from you, turns that into electrical energy, which powers up the tiny little transmitter circuit that is built inside the switch. And then that sends a signal to the receiver, which then switches on its output, turning the connected device on or off. So how does that work without an antenna, you might be thinking? It doesn't. Just like all RF design circuits, there is also a small antenna built inside the switch used for transmitting the signal to the receiver. I know, that's clever, right? So you can mount the switch anywhere in the house and control another device miles away, right? Well, definitely not miles, no. The distance is rated up to 30 meters inside the house and 100 meters outside. Obviously walls and barriers would affect these distances. The transmission frequency operates on 433 megahertz. The receiver can be powered from 100 to 240 volts AC. Uh, maximum current is rated at 10 amps. Um, this particular receiver is a single channel receiver, so it can only control one device. There are other variants around now as well. I've noticed a few other brands are also releasing these self-powered switches, so there's a few to choose from. The switch itself can be mounted anywhere, such as on the wall, the door, the window, or anywhere else you can think of. And it's rated to last a long time, at 200,000 presses. You can even purchase a second switch, so you can use two switches to control the one receiver. Okay, it's now time to show you just some of the things you can use one of these self-powered wireless switches for in your home. I do have a smart home though, of course, so some of these things won't be possible for everyone to do. Okay, so the first thing you could do is turn the lights in your room on and off. Yes, all you would need to do is remove the wall-mounted light switch, mount this receiver in the wall behind the light switch, then just get an electrician to wire it up for you. And once that's done, you can then mount the switch in any other room of the house or garage and then control your kitchen lights from that room, like this. Or what about the TV? That's an even easier item to control with one of these self-powered wireless switches. All you need is an extension cord, have an electrician wire the receiver into the middle of it for you, and then just plug in your TV. Now just mount your switch onto the side of your couch, and now you can turn the TV on and off without having to try and find the TV remote, which for some reason always goes missing. But wait, what about your fan? Your electrician can easily wire this receiver into your fan's power control source as well.
It can also be used as a great safety device in an emergency situation as well, such as to turn off the air fryer if you have walked away from it and left it running. If something goes wrong, that could cause a fire. But thanks to one of these self-powered wireless switches, you can switch it off immediately and from anywhere. What about if you forget to turn off your car battery charger in the garage? I've heard of people doing this many times and in one of those times my neighbor's garage burnt down to the ground because he forgot it was still charging and it didn't switch off by itself. And because the switch can be mounted anywhere, you could even stick it to the car's hood itself. It can also be used as a great way to control your hairdryer. Just stick the switch on the wall. Okay, but is it of any use in a smart home? While a smart home doesn't really need one, due to the fact that just about everything is voice controlled anyway, which is also a wireless way of controlling things, it does still have its uses. I could stick it to my window and use it as a quick way to control my smart window. Or I could stick it to my door and use it as a quick way to control my smart door from inside and outside the room. I could even get a little bit more creative and get it to control my latest smart home creation, my smart couch table. It makes a great way to control my smart garage door and I can even attach it to the sun visor of my car. I could even use it to control Android and Roma's bird bath. I can just stick the switch onto the side there like that. Although they're probably not going to like this. Okay, so there's obviously a lot we could both do with one of these self-powered wireless switches. But I think everyone understands what I mean now. So that brings us to the end of another video. This is what a self-powered wireless remote controlled switch is, how it works, and that's just some of the things that you can do with one, even in a smart home. As far as the price is concerned, they do vary in price a bit. This one cost me $15 plus shipping. I think the dual switch version was $25, but they're all still quite affordable. If you're wondering about the reliability, I really can't see that being a problem. And best of all, you won't need to keep buying and replacing batteries, which is definitely an added bonus. So it's not really a smart switch, is it? Well, that all depends on what you mean when you say smart. It's definitely a smart design. But is it smart controlled? No. It cannot be interfaced into a smart home setup and controlled by an app on your phone or by Alexa or Google. Okay guys, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. 
If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, please like, share and subscribe to the channel where you can watch even more videos, which I upload every week. And I hope to see you all in the next video.